Thumbnails are one of the most important elements when it comes to growing your channel. When a user is scrolling through YouTube, your thumbnail must grab their attention instantly and make them say, I have to watch this video. Starting off though on YouTube, I was making the same mistake that many others make. I was putting more emphasis on my videos than on my thumbnails. Along with a good thumbnail though, you're going to need a good title, which seals the deal. So in this video, we're gonna be using one of my personal favorites to create our thumbnail, and that is Canva. Canva offers different plans. There's a free plan and a paid plan, but the free plan, if you're starting off on Canva, is plenty to get your feet wet and create some amazing thumbnails. So without waiting any longer, let's jump into my computer. Let's make our thumbnail. All right, guys, so now we're in Canva, and I wanna show you guys how simple it is to make your thumbnail. What I like to do is just go to create design and Canva makes it super simple for you. Whether you're trying to make a YouTube banner or thumbnail, but in this one, we're going to be making a thumbnail, which they already provide the dimensions for you. So for the thumbnail, you guys see that I made, what I did was I went to inside the templates, YouTube thumbnail to see what templates they offered. As you can see, there are tons and tons to choose from, and most of them have a pretty catchy look to them. What I realized is I was not putting enough attention to my thumbnail. I mean, you could have the greatest video in the world, but if you don't have a thumbnail that's gonna attract somebody's attention, they're never gonna watch that amazing video you spent all that time on creating. So you definitely have to put a lot more emphasis inside your thumbnail. So the one I used was pretty, pretty similar to this. And already you can tell like how catchy this is. For instance, you would, you know, remove her. And what you want to do is as you're recording, you know, or before or after go through and select, you know, some, some photos that you want to use for your thumbnail. So we'll go to uploads and then for instance, so you go to edit image and then background remover. And essentially you're just cropping yourself right into this. So do that. Okay, so there's the image. So now let's see. I don't know, we'll just do something simple, but is, is this easy where you can just like all these that are already here, kind of just using what they already have for you. So, so we'll say like the greatest attractive thumbnail <laughs> and then here. So if we wanted one more, you could even duplicate or here, let's do this. Let's go to, let's duplicate this one. So we'll say, I don't know, like, here, we'll remove this guy too. Let's see if we move out of the way. And we'll move this arrow. But here, you could even here, hit into the delete button, or up here, you can delete it. But I think their templates are amazing. And however much time you're already putting in your thumbnail, I would double it. Like I said, the greatest video ever will never be seen with essentially an awful thumbnail. And now that's why it's like, I spend more time now before I even make the video, I'm already doing the thumbnails. Like it's all customizable. Let me see. Need, let's duplicate this white background. Throw this, oh, there, let's see. Delete this, delete this. Let's see, we'll duplicate that. Duplicate. There we go. And say for instance, we want to change the colors on the text in here. So all you do, go here. We'll say we want to use a red to go with the YouTube theme. So we'll change this one to red also. And then 
even this, we could change this. We'll say black. Say we didn't like this. Oop. These designs in the background here, we'll delete them. And we'll say we're not really a fan of the background color being red. Let me move myself out of the way real quick. We'll do, say for instance, like the gray that I have. There we go. And we'll get rid of this guy too. Let's get rid of these polka dots. And where is it? Elements. Put some stars in there. I think the stars look pretty cool just to hide in the background a little. Position. There you go. So we threw the, the stars to the back of the, the text. Let's do one more stars. Put them like over here. Backward. Send to the back. So sending it to the back, it's gonna be right behind that. Let's take away that, that wow. But yeah, so using their templates, that's something you can come up with real quick, but I would still spend a lot more time on it. Kind of observe like some of your competitors out there who are, you know, are getting tons of views, you know, tons of likes, subscribers. So even if you wanted to animate, that's how cool Canva is. But we'll remove the animations because it's just a thumbnail anyways. But yeah, that's, that's how cool Canva is. All right, so we'll do one more. Let me see. Uploads. So we'll do this one. All right, so we'll remove the background again. Edit image and then background remover. Don't quote me on it, but I'm almost positive you have to have a, a paid plan to use a background remover. There we go, so we got that. So then you could even add some text. Um, so they have some pre-made pretty cool text over here, which you can even change the colors on. All right, so, so let's make this size smaller. All right, so let's do, let's see what the, the background looks like in red. I don't know, I'm kind of a fan of the gray. <laughs> so elements, even this, like this little YouTube sign right here, there's no uh, crown showing that it's like a pro plan, which, let me see. See, oh, there we go. See how that one's got the crown with the pro? So that one you have to be on the paid pro plan. But even something like this, bring that a little smaller. So we'll say we'll even make these in red. Let's see what that looks like. But I mean, this one isn't the greatest looking thumbnail, but just, just to show you guys like how simple it is. Um, say if you guys like the stars again, like, oh, it's on my head. So we'll go to position. We kind of just have to play around with it and kind of like scrolling through YouTube and see what, what are some killer thumbnails that their videos are getting lots of views. But even something like this is still way cooler than a lot of the competitors out there. Some people got some pretty lame thumbnails and you know, just to, just to spice it up a little bit. Like I said before, you could have the greatest video ever and nobody, nobody will see it. Or you'll have very few people that will see it, but you're not gonna reach your full potential until you start uh, putting more emphasis into your thumbnails. So I want to ask you guys right now, are you guys putting more emphasis into your thumbnails or into your content? Leave a comment down below and make sure if you guys got some value out of this, can you guys hit that subscribe button? And that's it for this video. You guys have any questions? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one.